Do you remember this book? Based on the title, you probably wouldn't guess it, but this book started a shoe revolution in 2011. And now, looking back, I'd say that most people tried barefoot shoes because of the health claims, but they stayed for another reason. Walking in minimalist shoes just feels better in every way, and once you've gotten used to them, wearing regular shoes will feel like wearing a cast on your foot. But if you want to buy a pair of barefoot shoes, you will face two problems. The first problem is that most of these shoes have very low production quality. Just look at online reviews of popular brands and you'll know what I mean. One example is the pair of Morel shoes I tested last year. They looked amazing and they felt great, but I had to throw them away after just six months of regular use because the fabric on the top tore apart to the point where my two-year-old could reach his whole hand through and play with daddy's toes. And that's not okay because I'm talking regular use as in walk to the store and back not even sports. And the second problem you'll face if you want to buy a pair of minimalist shoes is that most of them look horrible. And I admit that in a way these design choices are amazing because that's exactly what I'd imagine Steve Urkel would wear if the show Family Matters were to make a comeback on modern TV. So if you love barefoot shoes and want to wear them to work or on formal occasions, you're left with very few choices. And in this video, we're going to take a closer look at one of those choices, the Carrots Minimalist Dress Shoe. Let's see how they do in terms of design and feel first, and then I'll give you my take on the health benefits of wearing this type of shoe. The first detail that caught my eye was that the shoe box looked completely ordinary and maybe even a bit too ordinary considering the price tag on these shoes. Once you open it up, you'll notice that both shoes come in individual dust bags and with shoe trees. The shoe trees help shoes maintain their shape and they also aid in getting rid of moisture from the inside of the shoe. The shoes themselves are made of full grain leather and they come with elastic laces to help slip the shoes on and off quickly. Although I have to say that I'm not a fan of the stretchy laces because they seem much too long for the shoe. And as for the overall aesthetic of the shoe, I let you be the judge of that first because after all, everyone's taste is different. Originally, my idea for this video was to record this test in Berlin. You know, walk around, enjoy the city, visit the Dussmann und Friedrichstraße, or maybe watch a movie in the Sony Center. But since that's not an option right now, I thought I'd do what everyone else does and work from home. So I wore these shoes for several days to simulate a week at the office. And to make up for the lack of beautiful scenery, I thought I'd show you some of my favorite Berlin shots, you know, photographs that I took myself at the end of this video. Close enough, right? Here's what I learned in the test. The first thing I noticed when putting the shoes on was that they are much bigger than the size suggests. I actually had to order them in size 46 to get them to fit, even though my regular size is 48. The point of the elastic laces was to allow you to slip the shoes on and off without having to undo the laces, and this works well enough, even though I'm not sure it's appropriate for a dress shoe. The shoes feel weightless on your foot, almost like they're not even there, and that's great. One problem I had with other minimalist shoes in the past was that the top line of the shoe was cutting into my ankle and Achilles tendon and the same thing happened with the carrots as well, but only on the left ankle, curiously enough. In spite of the tight fit around the ankle, the shoes were still too wide for my feet, causing them to slide from side to side a fair bit. As you recall, I made the same remark about the Morel shoes I tested last year and it's likely just because I have somewhat narrow feet. In other words, if your feet are regular width, this will not be a problem for you. Another small issue I noticed with the carrots was that the sole can leave markings on the ground. My final verdict with regards to feel is that these shoes are very comfortable and the soft material seemed to adapt to my feet very quickly. I could actually see myself wearing them all day if it weren't for my narrow feet. As you know, my background isn't in fashion but in health and fitness, so I don't know what other brands of dress shoes there are and which ones are more prestigious because it's just not something I care about. But I do care about how healthy a shoe is and how it will influence my body. 
And the two main problems that you will find with regular dress shoes are the elevated heel and the narrow toe box. And just to be clear before we're getting deeper into this, if you just wear the shoe for say a couple of hours every other week, it's not going to have an impact. But if you wear a shoe for eight plus hours every day, your feet and legs will adapt to the shoe. The elevated heel puts your ankle into permanent plantar flexion, which over time leads to adaptive shortening of the calf musculature. For example, people with shortened calf muscles will find it difficult to do a full range of motion barefoot squat with their heels planted on the ground. Some may even fall over backwards. If you then combine an elevated heel with a narrow toe box like you'd find on a pointy dress shoe, you get a setup that's great for permanently altering toe alignment. And I don't know about you, but I prefer my toe alignment to stay normal. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go to Google and search for bunions and then click on images. Sure, the problem is more pronounced in women's shoes, but pointy dress shoes for men are heading into the same direction. They've just not taken it as far. So if you're looking for a classy minimalist shoe that you can wear on formal occasions, you should definitely try the carrots. Their production quality is high and with proper care, these shoes should easily last 10 plus years, especially since you can have them resold. They're comfortable and good for your feet. And the soles of these shoes are thin enough to be minimalist without making standing for long periods painful. A few things that I didn't like about the shoe were the laces, but that's kind of an easy fix. The top lining hitting my ankle and my Achilles tendon, but as I said, this may be a problem specific to my foot. The marking sole and the gray of the inner material being visible around the ankle and between the laces. I would prefer an all black appearance. The good news is that these issues may be fixed in a future version of the shoe. Now, if you want to try the carrots, two things I recommend you keep in mind are number one, you may have to order them in a size that's smaller than what you regularly wear and number two, these shoes may be too wide for you if you have particularly narrow feet. And as always, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment below this video and I will try to get back to you as soon as my kids daycare reopens. Oh, and here are those Berlin pictures, I promised.